sometimes we need to add or subtract fractions. Here we are told that John is buying nails at the hardware store and they're sold by the pound. He buys 7 sixteenths pounds of small nails and later returns and buys 11 sixteenths pounds more. What was the total weight of the nails that he bought? Well, this is pretty easy. We just add the two. 7 sixteenths plus 11 sixteenths. And that's easy because they're both sixteenths. So we can just add 7 and 11. 7 and 11 gives us 18. So we get 18 sixteenths, and that's in pounds of nails. And that's, uh, that fraction can be reduced. Both of those can be divided by 2. So 18 divided by 2 gives me 9. And 16 divided by 2 gives me 8. So I end up with 9 eighths pounds. And you can probably see pretty easily that that's 1 and 1 eighth pound. Dave walked one quarter mile to the corner store, another two-thirds miles to his friend's house, and then a half mile back to his own home. What total distance did he walk? Well, we just need to add these three numbers together, the one quarter mile, the two-thirds of a mile, and then the half mile. So let's write that down as our problem. One-fourth plus two-thirds plus one-half. And we need to add these, but to add these, we need to have the same denominator in each of them. They need to be like fractions. And you can probably tell that if you look at these numbers, the 4, the 3, and the 2, a 12 as a denominator would work well. All of those numbers can divide evenly into 12. So let's rewrite each of these with a 12 as a denominator. 1 fourth, to make 1 fourth into a denominator of 12, I have to multiply this 4 times 3 gets me a 12, so I multiply this 1 times a 3 also. That gives me 3 twelfths. 1 fourth is the same thing as 3 twelfths. Now look at the 2 thirds. 2 thirds is how many twelfths? Well, to get from 3 to 12, I have to multiply by 4, so that means I need to multiply the numerator by 4 as well, and 2 times 4 is 8. So 2 thirds is the same as 8 twelfths. And let's write the 1 half with the denominator as 12. That's pretty easy. 1 half is the same as 6 twelfths. So this problem, 1 fourth plus 2 thirds plus 1 half, is the same thing as this. 3 twelfths plus 8 twelfths plus 6 twelfths. And let's add those up. 3 plus 8 is 11, plus 6 is 17. So it's 17 twelfths. And you can probably see that that is the same as 1 and 5 twelfths. You can check that 12 times 1 is 12 plus 5 is 17. And this is in miles. 1 and 5 twelfths miles.